Wendy Andrade. That's me, Dr. A, the only Mexican in my entire college. I'm known for quitting my six-figure salary job not once, but twice. My parents think I'm crazy. My everything. siblings are not surprised. And my friends, well, I think they saw this one coming. So join TT and I as we hit the road, catch some flights, and try to figure this shit out together. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Navigating Life in the Latinx Community with Dr. A. And actually, today I want to start off by reintroducing myself. So those of you who know me as Dr. A, please, please, please feel free to call me Wendy. My parents actually named me Wendy after the Windy City, Chicago, when they migrated here back in the 80s. Growing up in the Latinx community for a lot of us means that our dinner tables do not include physicians, lawyers, people within positions of power. And that is why I really focus my channel to share my message with you guys and to help you and uplift our community together because that is the only way that we're going to get more people that look like me into those positions of power. So that being said, as you just watched, I was the only Mexican in my entire college, which led me then to create the Landscape Planner and my first edition being the First Gen Planner. Today I am going to cover a little bit as to why I founded this planner, whether you're a college student, whether you're a nine to five employee or corporate America, or you're looking to start your small business this year, how planning can help you get there. I wanna start off just by saying that in order for us to get to where our parents haven't been, we have to do things that they haven't done. And that is exactly why I put so much emphasis on planning because failing my first college exam led me to find planning and eventually create this planner. And I think that you can achieve anything that you want in life as long as you plan for it. So that's exactly what I'm going to cover today and how you can use this planner to maximize your lifestyle, maximize your time around your nine to five, and start that new damn business if that's exactly what you wanna do in 2022. That being said, let's get started. So for those of you who do end up ordering the Landscape Planner, it will come in a box like this. Inside your box will be your beautiful planner, which my dad has helped me box all of these up and also sticker these uh, Gold Gutters only scan barcodes that you'll see on the inside. And just to give you guys a little bit of detail, the reason why I founded the Landscape Planner was actually a tribute to my community because if you're familiar at the Mexican grocery stores, every year they give out these calendarios that actually open up this way. And at the top, uh, they'll have a Virgen de Guadalupe or Jesucristo or any kind of religious scenery and then this calendar is usually on the bottom. A lot of planners that we see actually end up opening portrait mode and um, for me I often hated getting to a page where I had to write on this side and my hand would be on that spiral as well as my planner now being really good for left-handed people so lefties if you're writing this way I have solved the problem by pretty much making it easy for you to write left or right handed without being bothered by that spiral. Another cool thing that you will get in your planner has been these bookmarks that my brother has actually 3D printed each and every single one of yours. Um, we will be selling them in the future but currently they are free. They've been all sorts of prototypes, right? So we've sampled, um, some of you might get one like this. Um, there's one with a little bit more details and by the way if you would love to drop down in the comments which ruler you love the most and which one you would want to buy and for how much you would want to buy it that would really help us a lot to gear and to offer you guys different types of bookmarks for you to choose from. It's very 3D looking so as you can see you can see a lot more of the detail of the printing. Um, and then we have some that have even been flimsy. We've really been working really hard to get um, down to our final version, which is this one here. It's just uh, very chic, very clean, very simple. Um, it has a good thickness to it as well. And that is what we will, again, like I said, be giving away for free for all the orders placed through the end of the month. Another thing, the cover is actually a traditional Serape print and that is just, again, to pay tribute to my community. Being a first generation means that I am both American and Mexican and I'm trying to find my place in this role. However, I'm too white for Mexicans and I'm too Mexican for white people and I'm just trying to bring both of our cultures together, make an aesthetically pleasing product that pays a tribute to my 
ancestors and my history and my culture but at the same time is a reflection of what I feel being a Mexican American in the US. This first page will be my story so essentially as a first generation graduate I lacked mentorship, role models, and resources. I was the only Mexican in my entire college of pharmacy. I struggled educationally, emotionally, physically, and financially. I often felt lonely even though my family was cheering me along hundreds of miles away. Si se pudo y si se puede. And I have a little quote here that just says, they migrated so I graduated because I think that just really hits home for many of us first gens. On the second page, do you ever look around and wonder how much easier others have it educationally, emotionally, physically, and financially? Because I know I did. Long story short, failing my first college exam led me to create this planner and I even graduated cum laude. But guess what? It can help you achieve any goal. So here's how this works. And I start off by saying, you can't fix a problem you don't know exists. Week number one is self-awareness, which is this week here. Simply record what you did what happened so for example today is sunday and i would go in write down when i woke up what i ate the time i spent on social media the time that i spent recording this youtube video and pretty much spend an entire week doing just that i have a tip here as well that says fill out the night after your day be honest with yourself aka spend three hours on tiktok because i've been there so that is part one, self-awareness. So part two is reflecting. I spent most of my time doing what top three things. So you write those top three things. Looking back in your week, I recommend color coordinating. So if you have a nine to five, I would recommend doing all purple or all green or all blue of your nine to five. Um, social media do pink or orange or yellow, but pretty much color coordinate so that when you look back, you can see what the top three things you spent most of your time doing. A third part is goal setting. This is where the sauce is. Be specific and clear. What, why, by when, and how are you going to do it? So for example, let's say you want to lose weight. That is your what. What do you want to do? What do you want to accomplish? I want to lose weight. Well, why don't we be a little bit more specific on that? I want to lose 20 pounds. Now, why do I want to lose 20 pounds? I think this is where you should spend most of your time actually because this is what will guarantee that you accomplish your goal. If you don't have a strong enough purpose or reason to do something, you're most likely not going to do it. Trying to look skinny, feel skinnier, that is a bad, <laughs> probably the best example of the worst reason why you should be losing weight versus maybe making it feel better about myself, to be more confident, to look sexy, to feel more energy to be healthier those are better examples of what i want you to think of when you're thinking of your why now by when um you know next week is probably unrealistic to lose 20 pounds but let's just say my birthday is 420 so i want to lose 20 pounds by april 20th so then that means you should be taking out your calculator okay um let's see we are in january that me leaves me four months 20 divided by four that means i need to be losing five pounds each month divided by four weeks in each month i need to be losing 1.25 pounds per week is that realistic and it might be right but that is why i say it's so important to have a very specific plan when you are planning to achieve any goal then number three, how will you do that, right? And I will show you guys in a little bit of how my planner incorporates working out at least three times a week, right? Uh, meal prepping, I, am, I meal prep every single Sunday for at least two hours a day, very specific. Um, meditating, therapy, uh, whatever it is that you feel that will help you accomplish that, how you're going to accomplish that, you want to make sure that you write those things down. You know, you are 40% more likely to remember to do something when you write it down. It's science guys what I want you guys to understand is that planning is a skill and a muscle that you need to flex you need to be actively dedicating uh, some time in your week to make a plan and look at what you've been doing and analyze this is how successful people get to where they want to be they make a plan and they follow it and that's how they get there so once you have completed step number three of what an ideal week looks like i would actually challenge you to fill out a lot more than what we have here then you can flip over to the monthly tab page i purposely left this blank for you guys here because after each month i wanted to give you a scratch sheet of paper i personally do reflection so it's more of a journal at the end of the month kind of 
going back and looking at what worked, what didn't work, what can I change, and what can I continue doing. So um, another neat thing though that I love about this planner is that I have monthly tab pages that have quotes in both English and in Spanish. January start is my mom's birthday and it starts off by saying what she is most famous for saying which is que esperas, what are you waiting for? Um, so I dedicated January to my mom. February is uh, Casey, so Kenya, I have a Reels challenge where I actually allow my audience to comment their favorite quote and every year we select two winners to be included in our planner and those two winners will also get a free planner um, and we choose the winner based on what comment gets the most likes. This year she shared, si fuera fácil todos lo harían, so if it was easy everyone would do it. Then we have the month of March, which March was actually dedicated to Cesar Chavez, who is the brains of unitedfarmworkers.org. I actually have their website here as well. He was the one that founded and launched the Si Se Puede movement, which was an initiative to help standardize the work environment for farm workers across the U.S. So March is his birthday month, and I wanted to dedicate that for him. April is actually my birthday month, but I dedicated April to my mentee, Aline Baragan, who is actually one of my biggest motivators for creating this planner. I actually started doing desktop planners and I made it for her. And because of her, we're here today. So her tip is disciplina sobre motivación, so discipline over motivation, that you have to have discipline when your motivation runs out. Then I decided to leave May for my month after, and it is, eres el la director ejecutivo de tu vida. So you are the CEO of your life. That is what I say. Planning, you have to schedule time appointments things with yourself in order to commit to them. So similar, if you would go have an appointment to go see your doctor, you don't wanna be late, you wanna show up on time and you have to show up. So that is what planning is, is creating appointments, scheduling time in your days to commit, to stick, to show up for yourself. June is actually dedicated this one for Nike because I think it is one of the quotes that is most commonly used but also not really used as the way that it was founded. So, ayer dijiste mañana, which means yesterday you said tomorrow. So the full quote actually reads, yesterday you said tomorrow, period, just do it. And I think it was just so cool to give a little bit and share a little bit more about that story of how that quote came about to be. For the month of July is actually their rivalry Adidas and it is not that it's impossible, impossible is nothing. And this one's actually the tribute that I wanted to pay to my brother because he's the one that has always told me since I was a little girl and he taught me how to play soccer, change my own tire, cut the grass, take out the trash, do all the boy stuff that he, he his birthday is actually in January but since my mom took that one I wanted to keep him in a month that started in J and July ended up being the month that I attribute to him but also coming from Adidas which I love Yeezys and is one of my favorite and only shoes that I wear so wanted to pay tribute to both of them. August is my dad's birthday month so his quote is hazlo bien o no lo hagas which is what he'd always tell me and that just means do it right or don't do it at all so um, literally my life story and I think the pressure that we feel as first gens is that we hold this pressure to not make any mistakes um, and to do everything at the best of our abilities and not to slack off. So thanks Dan. Uh, September is actually Mrs. G, MG, and that is my oldest sister. She, oh my god, <laughs> um, so it actually reads, estoy orgullosa or orgulloso de ti. I'm proud of you and I think as a first gen sometimes we don't use our words to really express our feelings and it is something that my oldest sister has just always shared with me and has always made me know that she is proud and although I know my entire family is proud of me it's just something that's really nice sometimes as a first gen to read hey I am proud of you then October is actually my other sister's birthday so she would always say futuro yo me agradecerá por esto and it just says future me will thank me for this and although she was always referring to preparing herself snacks so that when she'd be hungry later she could go back and eat them I think it's still really just motivational 
for you guys to understand that like whatever it is that you're planning for right now and those days that you're staying up late to study and the days that you are waking up early the days that you're hustling at the gym and you're hustling at your job like future you is going to thank you for what you are doing right now then november this was another one of our winners um, over at the landscape planner on instagram um, was lj's mom it was actually lj who shared this with us but his mom often says ponte las pilas y echale ganas which means put your batteries on and give it all you've got so thank you lj for sharing that and lj Thank you to your mom for always letting us know to get your damn shit together. December, actually this year we chose three winners because we just had good quotes from you guys submitted. And that is from Cristina, si lo crees, lo creas. And what that means is that if you believe it, you'll be it. This is actually a book written by Brian Tracy and Christina Stein. So um, that is why it's in parentheses from Christina who actually shared it with us because we wanted to... Um, honor both of the authors and as well as Christina for sharing it with us to include it in our planner. Another thing that I want to make note is that every single month uh, you will have a monthly vision board. So I believe that as first gens we struggle educationally, emotionally, physically, and financially. So those are four pillars that I try to focus on to make sure that we are achieving and focusing on those points and aspects of our lives. So educational but if we go into my planner in my january goals are educationally um and some of you guys got these sticker sheets so you'll see them um but mine is to stay focused uh schedule my real estate exam so i'm studying to get my real estate agent broker license so that i can sell houses because it's a passion that i've always had even after having gone to pharmacy school emotionally i'm working on meditating at least once a week which i actually do this with denia over on mindful latina and ig her and her husband do a daily meditation so i try to join that at least once a week um, physical is work out at least four times a week so right now i only work out three times a week making it monday wednesday friday but i really want to at least start incorporating it consistently into my weekends and then the last thing i have is your financial section so writing down your credit score i always recommend to check out creditkarma.com they're actually the reason why i ever knew what anything of credit had to be or mean at 18 years old i made an account and that is what taught me everything that i know about credit cards and credit year-to-date savings so writing down how much money you save being cognizant of those um, as well as your credit card due dates um, and if you don't have credit card due dates i actually changed it up this year and i included my active uh, subscription so i have my apple subscription my adobe my epidemic sound for these videos and also um i just got a p.o box for six months so i divided that by a monthly payment something to i recommend is your netflix your hulu accounts your phone bills all of that um, writing down to see how much you're actually paying every single month and i know how excited you guys are to see the weekly view and this is what your weeks will look like actually let me show you mine so my week I'm actually doing a study right now where I wanted to not plan for two weeks of the new year because I wanted to go through what a lot of the people in my community are going through not planning. And I can tell you right now in this case study, I have been more anxious, more stressed out. I've been lacking self-motivation. I've been I, that feeling of being stuck, of, of not being able to accomplish a lot and just feeling guilty of wasting my time. That's exactly what has happened over the last two weeks of not planning. So just to let you know, this is me not planning. This is what my week, it was really hard not to as well because I just love it and I'm used to doing it. This was another week not planning. Um, but to give you guys an idea of what my weeks look like when I do plan, here is right on Christmas day here. And this was my entire week planned, my check boxes. Um, also, but let me show you a clean week just so that you get an idea and you're not distracted by my words. So this work week, as I was mentioning, you have your weekly to-do list. So what I recommend is everything that comes up, just start writing it down. Then from there, you have your top three daily to-do list. One of the things that makes this planner very special and unique and something that does not exist out there is that our weeks start on Sunday. So when you look at the month of March, every calendar starts Sunday through Saturday. But for some reasons, 
planners usually you'll see um, have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Saturday and Sunday are often thrown over to the random corners but I as a student Sundays were my cramming days. Sundays now as a business owner are my business preparation days and getting ready for the week. So I decided to include that into my weekly view. Every week starts on Sunday for us. So we have our top three daily things that absolutely need to get done for that day, whether it's laundry, whether it's grocery shopping, whether it's going to the gym. I also recommend that I would split up maybe like the most time consuming goals so that they're not all in one day and you're spreading them out throughout your week so that you don't feel overwhelmed when you do start planning. The other neat thing here is I included in your weekly view these check boxes. So making your bed every morning, it literally takes two minutes to make your bed in the morning, whether it's just throwing the whole sheet over, and that will instantaneously increase productivity. It would make you feel accomplished. It will give you a clear head for your day. It's just another surface that you can even throw your dirty clothes on to organize and clean up your room. It makes such a difference simply just by making your bed every day. So I always recommend that you really challenge yourself to make your bed every single day. Uh, the next thing that I always recommend is drinking a bottle of water every morning that you wake up. It will really just help clean everything out and start you off on a fresh day, but also staying hydrated really helps avoid those headaches. And I was going through a period where I had constant headaches and drinking a bottle of water every single morning when I woke up not only helped me wake up, not only made me feel more alerted, not only made me use the bathroom, but also just took away those constant headaches that were so tedious and hard to deal with every single morning. Uh, then the next part is the working out at least three times a week. So here, you know, the first box is Sunday, the last box being Saturday. I just really recommend that you at least review and go back and ha hit at least three boxes a week on that section. So last but not least, I actually want to share you guys a message that we received over at the Landscape Planner and that is from Natalie. You have saved us, Nat, from so much, but I just want to say that we did make a mistake within our planners. And really quickly, I just wanna show you guys what happened. So our manufacturer accidentally duplicated the exact same numbers to start on Thursday onto October. However, October actually starts on Saturday. The first is on Saturday. My manufacturer actually agreed to reprint every single one of these pages, just the one page that's a mistake, but really to just spend and kill another tree to fix this problem versus helping and having my family put to use to fix this for you guys now and then give you guys a sticker so you can fix your months as well moving forward. So here is how I currently use them in my week is that I just put them next to my weekly view. Um, so the sheet comes in a month of 12. So this is what the sheet looks like. Um, with the planners that we will be selling, we will be sending you two months worth so you can fix your October month and then you can have some for that entire month or your current month to see if the stickers are something that you like. Um, however, we have been working tirelessly. My entire family has been working OT literally after we're coming home and um, as you'll see in this video, we've all been working on I'm stickering each and every single one of these, 1 through 31. For you guys, I've been drawing these lines as well because we want to make sure that you're planning on your correct date. So for those of you, again, who already received a planner, you will be receiving a sheet in the mail with the stickers to fix your current month. And then for those of you who are receiving a planner now, up through the end of this month, we will be fixing those for you just because we've been able to manage the order load. Again, really quickly, here is the before. Here is the after of how we've been fixing it. So if you want to fix the problem immediately and if you ordered your planner before the beginning of the year, here is how I fixed mine. I ended up just crossing it out and writing in and then adding the lines myself. Just make sure that you are planning your October correctly. We just want to thank each and every single one of you guys for supporting the Landscape Planner. Any of you have probably seen on my TikTok, I actually shared my financials of how much money I've invested, which I'm in at about 
$10,000 for these planners. So these are not free to me. I have designed each and every single one of these pages going back to February of 2021. So a lot of work has been put into this um, really because I believe that it will make a change in your life, especially being a first gen and not having had grown up with planning we don't know how to do it and i think this planner really focuses on getting started with planning and on helping you achieve your goals so that being said again thank you guys so so much for all of your support we are working really really hard to really get this in the hands of a lot of first gens so if you know about first gen um actually you know what I'm feeling like doing a giveaway so if you fully watch this video go ahead and screenshot that to uh, the landscape planner Instagram so that is the landscape planner on Instagram DM that account a picture that you fully watch this video and you will be entered in a giveaway for a free planner that being said, I look forward to helping you all achieve your 2022 goals this year. Porque yo creo que juntos podemos, which means that I believe that together we can. And I will do whatever it takes to make sure that I see more of you in those positions of power and that I give you guys all the resource and that I am that mentor that I wish that I had growing up. So again, thank you guys all for watching. Make sure you send me a screenshot of this video if you fully watched it to be entered in the free planner giveaway and then for those of you who don't want to wait or just want to get your planner now I'll link it below with a very nice discount code for you so that being said si se puede you can do this I'm proud of you and I'm so excited for what's to come for all of us this year in 2022 adios we'll catch you on the next one